<laughs> Man, is that nice. Hey, welcome back. This is Lucas coming at you from the two car garage and uh, got a pretty good update for you. Last week I promised I was going to have the front valence finished up on Kurt's bug and uh, well guess what? I made good on my promise. I got everything all welded up and majority of the cleanup work done and uh, wait till you see this thing. Let's, uh, let's go take a look here. Well here it is. Front valence is, uh, is on and welded just like I said it would be. And uh, I'll tell you what, this thing is uh, its looking pretty good. You know, this thing's been apart for so long, uh, with everything being just like paper and flexy and all that. I was uh, starting to lose sight of what was going to happen here at the end, but now that we've got everything all welded up, uh, this, really, this really is solid. And uh, in fact, uh, seeing just how solid it is now, um, I'm, I've got more of an idea of just how just how bad it was. In fact, you know what? Let me go grab the old, uh, the old metal, show you that, and uh, you can see just how bad it was to begin with. Well, you know what? We'll start with the uh, the actual front valence itself here, and uh, you know, at first glance, it doesn't look too bad. Just some old crappy paint, but uh, you know, if we flip this guy over here, you can see uh, just all the rust that's in here, and there's a lot of holes poking through. This had uh, just Nerf bar bumpers on it, uh, so the overrider holes had been filled. The way they chose to do that was just to uh, kind of sort of weld a piece of metal in from the backside, and you know it did its job. But uh, you know it would have been would have been a whole heck of a lot of work to even try to try to save this. Uh, in fact, if I look look over here, you can see where the where the body filler's flaking out, and I can see it's just all full of rust down there. And so this thing itself was was pretty well toast um, and to be honest this is actually the the best of all the pieces that I that I had up replacing here the belly pan here uh, you know this thing was in super super sorry shape I mean there's really just nothing left here you can see all the holes that are in here and uh, you know it's super thin you know you can see just how warped and distorted it got when I was taking this thing out and so really, um, absolutely no, no saving this. And then finally, that'll bring us to the, uh, the actual inner, inner fenders here. And while these weren't too bad as far as the, uh, the rust goes, you can see just how wrinkled this is, you know, where it's been bent around here. Look at it from the backside. Um, and so I probably could have straightened this out, but man, it would have been, uh, it would have been a whole lot of work for, potentially questionable results you know this guy here not quite not quite as bad not as drastic but uh, still not not great so just remember where it is we started and uh, you know kind of makes the the end result really uh, really look pretty good looking over here on the uh, on the driver's side you can see this is that this is that inner fender extension that we replaced and it's a little hard to see right now because I've got some some weld through primer on here, but the seam is the seam runs right along and through here. Uh, this outside edge is not not completely uh, smooth, and I'm honestly I'm not going to smooth it out because you know once I get undercoating on here, you're not going to see it. So we've decided to just leave this uh, leave this where it is. But you know we had this seam weld along and through here. It's a couple of spot welds in through here where it welds to the inner structure. And then we've got the, the actual valence has been plug welded right along and through here. So all in all, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out here. Uh, I do have the new seal channel welded onto the front. Uh, I mentioned last week that I bought a spot welder to do that. And I tell you what, um, I, I bought a real cheap one and it was pretty, uh, pretty sketchy. Took me a long time to kind of get things uh, figured out and put together, and even then, uh, this metal on the seal channel is so thin. Uh, we ended up just kind of blowing through in a few spots, so it was a uh, it was actually quite a bit of work to get this to look good. Um, I'm hoping uh, when I get to the uh, the other three pieces, these upper ones, that I'll, I'll get things figured out. Um, a viewer did suggest using a 3M panel bond 
which I know is an excellent product. Um, I did look up the price, and uh, right now it was a little bit more than I was willing to spend. Um, after having done this, I may I may go that route, and uh, we'll we'll panel bond it, and then only spot weld in a few places to hold it. We'll we're gonna see on that one. I have a a lot of other decisions to make be, uh, between now and then, so we'll we'll see what happens. But for now, you can see that. Uh, Everything is, like I said, everything's buttoned up. I do have a uh, the new hood latch mechanism on here. Uh, for right now, I did not put the uh, pull cable tube in. I can get that in after the fact, so I left that out until I get the rest of my uh, under hood work finished. So I just have a, some welding wire here hooked up to act as a release, but uh, check this out. If I bring the hood down, just set that in place, there it is, latched. I mean, that's, uh, you really can't expect much else than that out of a Volkswagen. Pull on the cable, she's released. I mean, how about that? Uh, honestly, it's probably better than it was when it was new. Um, now, I don't have a, a, a rubber seal installed here, so it's not going to seal or it's not going to close that easily next time because you have to push through the rubber. But without that in place, it, uh, it's pretty smooth. Um, I have had the bumper on here uh, to test fit. I've had the fenders on here a couple of times. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the fenders. I'm going to bolt them on. Uh, I'll get the bumper. I'll get that bolted on here. And, uh, you know, just for you folks, I'm going to go ahead and grab the... Uh, I'm going to grab the lights, the headlights and the turn signal lights and get those set in place just so we can kind of kind of get a look at the overall uh the overall product here. So I will be right back. Well, and there it is. So we've got uh we got the fenders mounted, we got the bumper mounted and uh headlights are just just hanging there. The uh these new buckets don't fit the uh fenders just yet, so I gotta figure out what's going on there, but we'll do that later. But you can see that, uh, you know, it actually doesn't look too bad. Bring the hood down here. <laughs> Man, is that nice. But with the hood shut here and the bumper in place, it's, uh, it's really starting to look like a car now. You know, one thing I wanted to, wanted to mention here I get this open. Um, I do have the car up on jack stands um, on all four corners. I didn't want it sitting on the, its suspension at all. And I took some time and I leveled the car out so it's sitting here uh, perfectly level right now, at least using this as my, uh, as my gauge. And using that, I was able to then come in and make sure that this that this valence is sitting on here level, as well as when the bumper's mounted, the bumper's sitting here dead level. So we know that everything is lined up exactly the way we want it to. But, uh, I mean, look at that. Look at how solid that is. You could, you could damn near stand on this bumper. It is just a Volkswagen, so I wouldn't recommend standing on the bumper, but you could if you wanted to. You know, it only took me, uh, it only took me three months to get around to this. But now that we've got this all taken care of, I'm, uh, I'm feeling much, much better about the progress on this project. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and shut that again. And uh, I mean, shoot, I love it. So all in all, I am, uh, I am ready to move on and get off of this thing. Well, now that we've got this weight off our shoulders, uh, I really am, am trying to figure out what the next thing is I want to tackle. And I'll tell you what, I am, uh, I'm, I'm kind of done dealing with rust and, and trying to fit new sheet metal. So I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to table that for a while and I'll fix the rest of the body issues, uh, later. Um, there are a bunch of customizations that we've been kind of hinting at along the way here. And I think it's really time to get started on that. Um, I got to figure out where I'm going to be mounting the switches for the 
air ride. Um, I've got some gauges I need to get mounted. Um, all of the electrical, uh, I am going to be changing that up. Uh, not just you know new a new fuse block and all that, but I'm also going to be rerouting it just to help tidy things up and uh, you know add to the to the custom touches. So I really think that's probably going to be the next the next step for us. We'll get this back down on the ground. We'll get inside the car. I got to put all the dash back together so I can kind of figure out where I'm going to be placing everything. And you know I really would like to have all the wiring. Uh, if not done, uh, situated. You know, everything routed where it needs to be, start getting bundles tied up, and then, uh, you know, if I don't get it all completely done later, I can, you know, focus on terminating ends and, and, and soldering up connections and all that. Um, so that's probably going to be one of, the, one of the next things we work on. With that said, um, I am uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, what's going on with our subscriber count here. We have yet to hit a thousand, but we are uh, uh, over 850, so we're really not that far away from a thousand. And we were talking here the other day what uh, you know what we should do because you know really for a YouTube channel like this, a thousand subscribers is a is a pretty good milestone. A bunch of things happen uh, when I get to a thousand. I can start posting uh, to the community tab, and I can start putting up some other you know kind of heads up type posts um, more importantly we get monetized and, and you know kind of get paid for all this all this stuff that we've been doing and uh, we're trying to figure out what we should do to to kind of celebrate that milestone and uh, you know let me know what you think down in the comments below but uh, one thought that I had was to uh, do a live stream uh, once we hit the the 1000 mark and then we can, uh, you know, figure out what it is we're going to do from there. Um, if you're interested, uh, I still have to uh, pull the motor apart for this car. And I thought, you know what, maybe we can just live stream the uh, disassembly of this thing. Um, I don't know. I really, it's, it's kind of up in the air. I do want to do something. Uh, I do have a lot of you that, that, that watch pretty regularly. Uh, one issue I do see with the live stream is I do have viewers uh, all over the world. Um, I've got viewers from Australia. I got viewers from uh, from England. Um, I've got South American viewers. Uh, heck, I've even got uh, some viewers from Indonesia. And uh, doing a live stream, I know, can be kind of tough for for those that are in different time zones. So let me know what you think. If, uh, if you're really interested in that, then, then we can pursue that. Uh, if everybody's like, nah, it's not worth it, uh, then we'll find something else to do. But uh, that's kind of where we are, you know. I'm, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. You know, this, you know, Kurt's bug here is progressing. Well, it's progressing. Um, I was talking to, uh, to a buddy of mine today. I think we've got our next or one of our next projects kind of figured out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, it, well, I'll give you a hint. It's a it's another Mopar, uh, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But, uh, you know, a bunch of things coming down the road, and, you know, once we hit this milestone, hopefully subscriber counts will start to take off, and, you know, bigger and better things are coming. So, anyway... That's really all I got, you know. Thanks for hanging out again. And uh, really, until the next one, I'll just see you around.